Hey guys, this is my Galaxy S4 i9505 international version. This is not uh, Google Play edition, but I have flashed uh, the GP ROM for my Galaxy S4. I've just installed it a few uh, hours back. It seems to be very stable right now. I didn't face any uh, random reboots. Uh, it has been uh, very stable. Uh, you can see here yes that's a lo lollipop running on my Galaxy S4 I hate that game uh, if you wanna know this is my baseband uh, the kernel version uh, it is running stock kernel I didn't change the kernel it seems to be very stable and um, this is the, uh, uh, I will link uh, the ROM uh, in the description below if you're interested you can go ahead and flash it uh, the way I flashed was I just formatted the data partition and then uh, oh sorry uh, I, I flashed the system partition and then uh, just flashed the uh, ROM zip uh, without uh, completely uh, uh, factory resetting my device so all my apps and data are just intact I just want to give you I just wanted to give it a try uh, it was intact so I didn't uh, change anything and it's working fine uh, as far as the changes go um, uh, if we go into the security there is no I don't see any smart uh, smart lock option here it's missing I don't know why uh, Samsung doesn't offer it here I don't know Everything else seems to be uh, very same. I have an XS7 2013 which runs Lollipop. Uh, I can say that this runs um, better than my Nexus 7. Yes, uh, the uh, the version here runs better uh, than my Nexus 7. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because Android is just more optimized for phones. So maybe that's why it runs better here. Uh, this is Nova Launcher. This is not uh, Google Now Launcher. This is Nova Launcher. Uh, I prefer Nova Launcher more uh, on my phones because you can customize these options. You can uh, customize these uh, folders, icons. You can change. Uh, you can change the configuration, everything and all. That's why I prefer Nova Launcher on my phones. Uh, what else? And this is the lock screen. Uh, the lollipop lock screen here. Yeah, there's a code that you can. There's no smart lock option available, so yeah, I had to give that. The brightness has been changed. Uh, one thing to note is that the brightness goes really low, uh, even than before. So that's a welcome option. I have switched on the adaptive brightness now. This flashlight uh, works well. Everything seems to be working fine right now. I also have full signal here. Uh, that's not an issue. I also seem to have full signal here. That's not an issue right now. Uh, my Even my Wi-Fi is working fine. Uh, what else? Uh, let me show you the camera. And the camera also seems to work fine. Uh, I, I still don't think that it, it uses the latest uh, uh, camera 2 APIs of Lollipop. It's not uh, it's not as as fast as um, Nexus 6. Uh, but yeah, it is just same as before. The quality seems to be fine. Yeah, that's the shortcut to access phone. Oh no no. Uh, what else guys if you that was my if you really want to experience lollipop on your s4 i'll advise you to go ahead and flash it uh, it seems very stable as of now even the developer is working on it uh, maybe he will improve it in a few days as of now i didn't face any issues or random reboots 
so that seems to be working fine um, thank you guys uh, have fun with your android device uh, see, you, see you later ciao